A man from Elliott says he may have revolutionized the wheelchair industry. His name is John Rackley. Bound to a wheelchair himself, he has spent the past five years developing a new chair from inside his little garage workshop. And as Steve Minnick shows us, this new chair is designed to get people moving wherever they want to go. It's like a mountain, uh, mountain bike of wheelchair. Always the avid outdoorsman, a passionate hunter. But in the years soon after John Rackley's accident, the woods became virtually inaccessible. Just too rugged for his conventional wheelchair to navigate. That's what really hurt. But thanks to his own innovation, a wheelchair dubbed the Renegade. Even the roughest or iciest terrain is rarely too tough anymore. Rackley himself discovered the answer in the spokes, gears, brakes, and knobby tires of a mountain bike. So I took a few bikes, cut them apart, welded them together, and uh, came up with the original prototype. Now, once Rackley finally perfected the chair last spring, he brought it here to South Portland's Alpha One, an organization which promotes independent living for people with disabilities. Needless to say, the folks here were thrilled with the idea. Everybody looks at the chair and goes, oh, why didn't somebody think of this before? <laughs> Since teaming with Alpha One, Rackley's Renegade has gone into mass production. Don Sheet Metal of Bitterford is currently building 35, many of them already spoken for. That machine knocks down barriers and gets people with disabilities into areas where they've never been able to go before. And John Rackley says he is the proof. The beach is where I never could go, but now I can go with my daughter and stepson. And with the Renegade's array of built-in accessories, there's little he can't do today than before his accident, including his life's passion, hunting. It's just made it easier, not only on him, but on the family as a whole, too, because it makes us feel a lot more secure with him out in the woods. In Elliott, Steve Minnick, News 8, WMTW.